I read in the New Yorker they had an, uh, an article about robotics, and in the article it basically said that people thought it could get to the point of intelligence. And I was at a robotics conference not too long ago where someone said that Google was working on Google Brain and it had an IQ of 70, and that it's not too far out of the question where it could become you know, having an IQ of 6,000, which is what the New Yorker article was saying. So I'm just curious why you dismiss it so quickly. Well, I, I'm just, if I can communicate one thing to you today, is that whole idea is complete nonsense. Now, I can't state it any more plainly, plainly than that. It's a confluence of a whole series of just misunderstandings and people talking past each other. What does it mean to say a machine has an IQ? It's a meaningless statement. I, I'll try to summarize this very briefly. The whole notion of human intelligence as a measurable objective quantity is fatally flawed. And many psychologists who study this say there are all different kinds of intelligence. There's uh, academic intelligence, there's athletic intelligence, there's social intelligence, there's all these different kinds of intelligence. Some, somebody, I should look this up, came up with the idea of boiling it down into a number, an IQ, which is nonsense. Uh, little Johnny can do two more math problems in half an hour than Sally Cat can. He's 7% more intelligent. Well, that's silly. Now let's take that same principle and let's apply that to machines. The machine can do with a million times more calculations than Johnny. We can calculate he has a 6,000 point IQ. But as we just discussed, a machine doing calculations, it doesn't mean the same thing as a human being. You assume that a human being who's doing calculations is using some kind of natural capability, which we, we all agree is human intelligence. But the idea simply doesn't apply to machines. Now, there's this incredible public discussion that seems to float around, and it will surface in places like the New Yorker. Don't believe everything you read in the New Yorker, please. Um, but the, the truth is, th this is not something we need to worry about. It's, it's not real. If you, start, if you think of humans as having a linear scale of intelligence, you can talk about machines, well, they're here, and they're here, and now they've got an IQ of 70. That would mean they're pretty dumb, by the way. Um, and what are we going to do when they get up here? Well, machines can outperform people on all kinds of tasks. And the thing to bear in mind is these machines perform tasks. They're not intelligent. They're used to solve certain kinds of problems. I don't worry about the fact that my car can go faster than I can run. I don't care about the fact that my calculator can do arithmetic faster than I can. And what we're not seeing is a generalization of that. Now, there are some people in the field of machine learning who are overpromising and misunderstand their own technology. I have the benefit, most of them, by the way, are quite young sorry to say, I have the benefit of having been around for a while. And I went through the expert systems craze. Anybody here remember that? You could have heard this same argument, the f Japanese fifth generation threat. Does anybody remember that? We've been through this cycle over and over and over again. And the new technologies, which I didn't get a chance to talk about, <laughs> they're basically two big breakthroughs. One is in the area of sensory perception, which allows us now to build robots and machines that can sense their environment and take certain actions in the environment. That's where the self-driving car is. You're going to find robotic gardeners and uh, robotic ditch diggers and everything. We're going to have all of that stuff because of that. And the second in the area of machine learning is a business of extracting patterns out of very large volumes of data. It, it could have been called big data, which it is called that in some circles, and that's really all that it is. But when you hear in a crowd like this, if I come and say, machines can learn, they don't learn the way you learn. They don't learn to play the violin. They don't learn that vanilla tastes different than chocolate. You know, they, it, that's, it has a different meaning in the broader society uh, that the term means to the technical community, which was one of the points I was trying to make.